Yo, happy new year, bro. Just got a little candle going right now. I thought I would film a little video. Set this in my YouTube inbox. Like As you can see, it's dark outside, but I'm not staying up till 12 a.m. So I've set this in my YouTube studio for 12 a.m. Just wanted to say happy new year, bro. Hopefully you have a wonderful year. A lot of growth, honestly. Bro, this year was crazy. I went from being like a total dumbass little kid playing video games just doing all of the bad habits I tell you guys not to do to completely 180ing and now meditating, working on this YouTube channel, doing like these type of things. So you can make a lot of progress in a year. If right now you were in that stage that I kind of was in and you're playing video games and you're doing a bunch of bad habits and it's making you feel bad and you want to make a change, you can make a change. Don't even bro. Honestly, if you're watching this and it's not January 1st or something, Never set these New Year's resolutions like these people. You better not be setting New Year's resolutions, bro. Take action today. Anyone who sets a New Year's resolution will fail because they don't understand that it's about taking action today. If you set things off to tomorrow or to January 1st, you, okay, yeah, you'll probably do them, but it's like a fat lady who goes to, like, fuck, a fat lady, but, all right, sorry if you're a fat lady, but it's like the fat lady who goes to the gym on January 1st and is like, this is going to be the year I'm going to lose weight. And then they give up in a month. The reason that happens is because they still don't see themselves as someone who isn't overweight. If you're setting, if you're setting a goal of like losing weight on January 1st, it means that you already don't see yourself as someone who is fit and who works out and who loses weight. Therefore, when things start to get hard, You'll be like, oh, well, I'm not really someone who does this stuff. It's getting hard. I don't know how to handle this. Let me just quit. So that's why New Year's resolutions don't really work. If you have set some goals for the new year and everything, though, that's completely fine. And I would actually say that's a good thing. I got a video coming out tomorrow. It's going to be a sick ass video. You boys are going to love it. I won't give away too much, but it is going to be about how to start improving your life. So if any, any of you boys are wondering, sorry. Fuck, I just ate some tasty ass food, but <laughs> it's not sitting too well. But anyway, if any of you boys are wondering how to start improving your life, this video is going to help you. But yeah, bro, hopefully you're chilling out right now. Hopefully you're having a good time, not being a freaking dumbass and playing video games or anything like I was last year on New Year's. Hopefully you're practicing some gratitude, reading a book, maybe journaling or something, journaling about the year, journaling about the person you want to become. That's actually a really good idea. I probably should have done that. But journaling about who you want to be in the next year, all of that stuff, man. Hopefully you're doing that. And if you're not, you have time to change. It's never too late for you to become a new person. You can change in a year. It takes about, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm in the top 1%. I'm 15 years old. Maybe I'm in the top 1% of 15 year olds, but I don't compare myself to 15 year olds because, bro, fucking <laughs> fucking look at me bro i'm not 50 i am 15 years old but i don't look and in my mind i look and act 15 but everyone's like oh you don't look and act 15 so yeah okay i'll compare myself to like 20 year olds i'm not in the top one percent of 20 year olds because that's who i'm comparing myself to honestly 15 year olds if you're 15 like i don't know most 15 year olds just play video games and stuff but yeah comparatively to the people who do somewhat of the same habits I do and who run YouTube channels and stuff. I'm not in the top 1%, but it takes about a year to get there. It takes, I would say I slacked probably at the start of the year because I still played video games till around February. So I was still like a video gamer. I, like the only thing I really did was I hit the gym, but I was still like doing most bad habits to like February. Then that's when I started to flip my life around because I started martial arts and that honestly bro if you want to set one goal for the new year start martial arts and actually last year I remember I was still learning about like self-improvement and stuff even though I was still doing like the bad habits and bro one thing that I actually did was like where this piece of paper is right now it's not goals for the next year but what I did was I actually wrote goals and I put it right next to my bed and I read them every night and one of those goals was start a YouTube channel and I mean look at us now bro Starting the new year with 100 subscribers. None of you motherfuckers better not... Sub well, I'm not posting this till 12 a.m. So no one better unsubscribe till 12 a.m. Nah, still don't... Un uh, don't unsubscribe. All right, don't unsubscribe from the YouTube channel. But we're going into the new year with 100 subscribers. 
But hopefully people are looking back at this in like a year and being like, holy fuck, he only had 100 subscribers. Whoa, now he's at 40 million, but <laughs> maybe that will happen. Leave the possibility out there. But yeah, bro, hope you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing setting some goals for the new year. And bro, oh yeah, fuck, man. I always forget my own quote. Be a doer, not a thinker, especially in the new year. See ya.